One of the last channels available to Russians for withdrawing money abroad is gradually ceasing to work. Foreign banks are massively announcing their refusal to accept payments from Russia through the Unistream system. Its operating bank has come under U.S. sanctions. This applies, among other things, to the banks of those countries that Russia considers its allies. The Bank of Georgia and Liberty Bank, two of the largest in Georgia in terms of assets, stopped working with the system. In Armenia, four out of eight banks refused to work with Unistream. In Kazakhstan, the state postal operator Kazpost has stopped receiving and sending money through Unistream. In Uzbekistan, Ipoteka Bank, Capital Bank and Halk Bank refused to work with Unistream. Andriy Yermak, head of the office of the president of Ukraine on Telegram. China's union pay also failed to fully replace Western payment systems. In many European countries, Chinese cards simply do not work. And those Russian banks that, after the start of a full-scale war, began to issue union pay cards will soon stop doing this, again due to the sanctions. We know that many people are worried about what with union pay cards. If you have a card of this payment system, it stops working abroad from July 21st due to the imposed sanctions. We recommend withdrawing cash. In the near future, we will stop issuing union pay cards due to the decision of the payment system. From a message of Tinkoff Bank on Telegram. The international payment systems Visa, MasterCard and Western Union left the Federation shortly after the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Now the cooperation with the aggressor country is stopped by the few who still accepted payments from Russia. If we are talking about the long term, then everything looks deplorable here, because do not forget that Russia is cut off not only from international capital borrowing markets, which means that investments will be at an absolutely frozen zero, or everything that will happen in Russia eventually will mean a gradual fading over a long period of time. The refusal of payment systems to work with Russia will probably also affect grey imports, through which Moscow, by passing sanctions, receives parts necessary for military equipment. Economic restrictions and the closure of channels for the withdrawal of money can create a situation in which Russia will not be able to pay for the electronics needed to continue the war. The fact is that now the European countries and the coalition that imposes sanctions against Russia has focused not on inventing new measures, but on tightening those measures that were introduced in March-April last year. Respectively, the issue of secondary sanctions is being discussed. Hence, all this is the activity of the banks of Armenia, Kazakhstan, Turkey, Georgia, which do not want to deal with Russian money at all, which became toxic after the start of the war. Since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, more than 30 Russian banks have been under Western sanctions, most of which are disconnected from SWIFT. Reported by Roman Smoller, Valeria Nikipelova, UATV News.